Hey there, this is Dustin with One Motion, and I hope you stop by our booth if you're at the Pack Expo. But if not, and you didn't see anything new and would like to, check this out. We're here at the Pack Expo. We want to introduce our One Motion products to you all. This is a uh, One Motion motor. Our motors are all outer runner motors, so the shell spins. The magnets are glued onto the shell. The electromagnetics that spins the magnets are stationary. I'm going to run this motor for you. So I'm going to creep it down to zero hertz. And this is a synchronous motor, so I've commanded it to go to zero hertz, which means that it's going to stay at zero hertz no matter what I want to do. All right? It'll do that up to 80% of my full low torque. It just won't move. So for incline conveyors, you can stop and then start it up without damaging the motor. I'm going to creep run this at about half an RPM. You will not be able to do this with an AC motor in a gearbox or a servo motor in a gearbox without burning up the motor and the gearbox. I could do this 24-7, 365 days a year. No problems running at half an RPM. I'm going to speed this up to about 250 RPMs. If you have a conveyor, it's so a delivering product to the left and to the right. I'm going to drop a load of products to my right. I'm going to reverse direction. I'm going to reverse direction. I'm going to reverse direction. And I can do this 7,000 times a day. You will not damage the motor. The only thing in between the hardware on the outside that spins and the hardware on the inside is air. I can't damage air. So the only thing in between the mechanical outside and inside is electromagnetic fields. And that doesn't damage anything when I reverse current. So knowing that this is my one motion product motor, the rest of it is just packaging. I can package it as a power hub for this counter lever design. I'm mounting this to the side of the frame and now I can do an endless belt and be able to remove tension on this endless belt, do my wash down, put the belt back on, put the tension back on, I'm off running again. So my motor, I can add shafts to it if I wanted to, uh, welding it on. I have diameter sizes from 45 millimeters in diameter, slightly under 2 inches, all the way out to our uh, 40 millimeter motor, which is a 16 inch motor. So I have two and a quarter inch, uh, actually like, less than two inches, two and a quarter inch, three and a quarter inch. I have 4.75 inch down here. I got a 5.5 inch motor. Up here I have a 6.5 inch motor. And then in the bottom over here, I got a uh, eight and a half inch motor uh, that's running this rotary table. Full 100% wash down. IP69K. Since everything is packaging and the motors the same, I can put, put four motors on one shaft and be able to replace servos. And my proposition for servo replacement is half the cost of servos. I have better reliability because I no longer have an encoder. I no longer have a gearbox. And I can go at it much faster because I'm moving your belt with my motor than having to go to the transmission. So everything's IP69K. If you look at my sealing system, my first layer of protection is a labyrinth seal that prevents power washing from hitting the seals. My second layer is two cartridge seals. Each cartridge has two lips. So I have to have a total of four lip seals. So that's the first five layers. If water gets beyond those first five layers, I have a sealed bearing. Beyond that, I have two inches of potting compound before you can get to my wiring. Because of the way we have designed the motor and our sealing system, I'm offering a three-year warranty on all of our products. Okay, so again, now let's continue on with packaging, right? So since we're just everything else is just packaging, I can do I can do different types of shells. I can do a Intralox 800 series. I'm yeah. going clockwise over here, so counterclockwise over here with a half a set. Uh, belt tooth profile, Intralox 2400, Intralox 1100 series. So all of these belts can be used for a 4 to 1 merges, 4 to 2 merges. Um, you just can't have the space savings with a servo motor or a gearbox, an AC motor and a gearbox. You can't nestle four of those mechanism underneath your conveyor to do some fun to the functionality and I'm doing this at servo speeds so what we have here 
is a, a step logic that we have programmed onto uh, the Allen Bradley drive. So I'm just making three inch move, three inch move, clockwise, counterclockwise. I can do this all day long. And when you touch this, it's not even warm to the touch. And this shaft is connected directly to the inside of the motor that would heat up. I could put my finger here all day long. It's not even warm. So moving on to our 400 millimeter motor. This is our biggest one. I can generate enough power like a V8 Ford Mustang. I am currently designing motors to replace 25 horsepower up to 125 horsepower AC motors uh, in the food industry. All right, so let's move on. And look, look at what I'm driving it with. It's a tiny frequency drive that is spinning this big size motor. I am running 85 watts of power. Now this is power to the drive, which has efficiency losses before it gets to the motor. So I'm probably running about 45 watts with this motor. And we'll move on to some other products that we have here. This is a uh, two to one merge or a two to, or a uh, product rotation conveyor. If you under, look underneath here, it's a center driven uh, two belt system. Uh, one belt is spinning at a faster speed than the other one for product rotation. You can put, these motors can run at different speeds. So look at how it cleans up your conveyor design. Traditionally, you have to have a servo motor and a gearbox and a drive mechanism on the left. Same on the other side. All of that goes away. Moving on, I want to introduce you to our uh, square drive motor technology. Our motors are basically cylindrical in shape. But what we have done is that for hygiene, we have machined four flats, 90 degrees from each other, and it's the flats that's driving my sprockets. Okay, IP69K junction box. This is our latest and greatest with our square drive. My proposition to the marketplace come Q1 of 2022 is that with the seven diameter sizes that I have, I'm gonna hold in stock in Rogers, Arkansas, 12 inches to 24 inches, an increment of two, inch, of two inches. So now I'm gonna have this in stock and then you can call me up and order 50 conveyor motors you can have five interlocks, five Volta, five Uni, it don't matter what it is. I can make any sprocket type that you want. And I can give it to you with a set screw so that you lock some and have some uh, float freely. Or if you want the most hygienic, I will do a continuous laser weld around the sprocket uh, to give you the most hygienic design. Stainless 316. Uh, full wash down. So that is our complete product at uh, Action Pack uh, of our One Motion products. Feel free to call any of our representative for more information. All right, awesome. Thank you. Good job. Let's do it on airplane. Custom design. One Motion Mag Drive.